Alright, so finally another part. I actually recorded this already, but it broke, and I have a horrible system, and everything that possibly could went wrong. This whole part is to teach you how to play if you haven't played Banjo-Kazooie, but I have. There's normally an obnoxiously long cutscene here, but it's not doing anything because I, yeah, I died the first time and I ended up recording the wrong thing here anyway. Maybe this time I can remember how to attack him. If he has a magic shield, why doesn't he just constantly stay under it? So the last one to come out is the one that's real, I think. But it's not really possible to see which one that is. Unless you have played this game any time recently. I like how he's talking to you here to explain things when you haven't even met him in the game. I think this is the right way. There's a bunch of stuff on the roofs here, but I think you need, yeah, you need another move to actually climb up. And then you go in here to get your first jiggy, and it takes about another 10 minutes of cutscenes, though. That thing that I guess is his pet should be in more games. Oh. 
Wish you could skip all these cutscenes. Oh wait, I can. Right. And if you actually care about the story, um, King Jingling's temple got zapped by some plot-related device, and bad things happened. Um, this is the wrong way, isn't it? This is also the wrong way, but at least you get something here. I'm pretty sure that makes a bunch of the bosses easier and stuff. Okay, I don't care. I'm not sure why moles live in Jinjo Village. This is taking too long. I want to get to an actual level before I have to make another part. Yeah, in this game the puzzles went from being a bonus to the only way to unlock levels, and I'm pretty sure when I was a kid that really messed me up. Yes, yes, this is the hardest puzzle. This cutscene doesn't take too long. Well, that's ten minutes. Hopefully, they're a little generous.
Alright, and that's the end of part three.